So those who prefer a, a heuristic sort of model-based uh, explanation of the data, uh, they simplify what's going on in terms of two forces acting within a person, otherwise known as the, the two-brain model or the dual-brain model. So um, a key article in this debate that was called Separate Neural Systems Value Immediate and Delayed Monetary Reward um, opened with this very easily recognizable tale. Um, you may think, you know, why is she putting up grasshoppers and ants? Actually, the opening of this article was uh, in Aesop's classic fable, the ant and the grasshopper are used to illustrate two familiar but disparate approaches to human intertemporal decision making. You never knew that's what the fable was about, but there you have it. Um, the grasshopper luxuriates during a warm summer day, inattentive to the future. The ant, in contrast, stores food for the upcoming winter. Human decision makers seem to be torn between an impulse to act like the indulgent grasshopper and an awareness that the patient ant often gets ahead in the long run. So when this metaphor, this metaphor of a competing ant and grasshopper gets read into the brain or mapped onto the brain, um, it gets grafted onto a uh, conflict between the limbic system and the neocortex, um, such that our tendency to, future, uh, to uh, discount um, the future seems to reflect, as this quote says, a competition between the impetuous limbic grasshopper and the provident prefrontal ant within each of us. Our emotional brain wants to max out the credit card, order dessert, and smoke a cigarette. Our logical brain knows we should save for retirement, go for a jog, and quit smoking. Um, so the emotional brain is understood. Um, again, this is very simplistic, but uh, um, on the, the left column as being older, more affective, emotional, automatic, impulsive, myopic, um, where the, the, the cortical um, brain is newer, analytical, uh, logic, logical, conscious, deliberative, and future-oriented. Again, this is a simplistic, but it, it'll do for our um, purposes of getting at this debate. Um, so to put these, the, the, these slides in terms of a more recent cultural fable, fable, one would be Homer and the other would be Spock. And actually, again, this isn't just me putting these up here. If you go and read Nudge, um, they, th these are the straw men that they um, construct and talk about throughout the book. There's um, Spock versus Homer um, are the terms they use. Um, so we are, the idea is that we're split between the two. 